Hi, folks. It's a real pleasure to see you all again. Hey, little fella. Ha, of course I didn't forget about you all. Well, if we're all ready, it's time for another edition of TV Heaven. Welcome to TV Heaven, Telly Hell, the show where my guest reveals what they like and what they don't like on the television channel programmes that are on at night time and in the day as well. <laughs> right. I'd like you to welcome a hugely talented writer, actress and comedian. Please welcome Ronnie and Kona. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Ronnie. Thank thanks, you very much. Thanks, thanks for, for coming having on. Me. You've come up with some great choices tonight, and we're going to start with something you hate. It's in your telly hell. It's this show, La Dette to Lady. Yes. What, you, what is it you hate about this? Well, the thing is, La Dette to Lady is trying desperately hard to be a kind of, you know, Pygmalion for television. But the girls that they pick, they could train them for five years and they'd still be banned from Weatherspoons. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a look at a clip of this, and when, I, when you first see the Ledettes, you do think to yourself, well, I've got a better chance of being a lady than any of this lot. All over Britain, young women are running wild. They're called Ladettes. I've got that steaming, I've come home and not even known how I've got home, and then walk up being sick. I can't count the amount of fights I've had with people, strangers on the streets. Behaviour like this is getting out of control. Hey. You see, I watch that clip and all I can think is, why oh why, every Saturday night do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but why do girls end up behaving like that? See, I think it's because they didn't used to have as much money. I think the mistake is giving women money. <laughs> That's laughter of agreement. Because um, you used to, you used to just get vouchers, didn't you, for detergent and stuff like that. And then we'd take you out for a drink on a Friday for half an hour and then send you home. But uh, they, they seem to have a lot more money now, young girls. And, and they seem to be, why are they going nuts? It's weird. I don't know what it is, but when I was that age and people got pissed, they, te they seemed to get more introverted, more, more, you know, more depressed, more maudlin. People used to put things on. Like more coats and traffic cones. Right. <laughs> Take things off. Like That's Scotland for you, isn't it? You are Scottish. Well, no, I am Scottish, and quite frankly, these girls look like teetotalers yeah. compared to where I come from. What were you? What were you drinking? Anything that anyone would buy me. Right. Basically. No, it wasn't that bad. But it I mean, that... like they have things now, like breezer, don't they? The Bacardi breezer, which makes it sound so innocent. It makes it sound like it just ruffles your hair a bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit tousled. <laughs> Do you think it's the sugar in it that makes them all go a little bit? No, I think it's the vodka. <laughs> but these girls, these girls, have, they, they want to change, don't they? Because a lot of them have got alcohol problems and social behavioural problems. And ITV decided to do something about it, didn't they? They set up a 1950s finishing school, and the, and the object of the show is to take these breezer-guzzling bloke tarts and turn them into <laughs> refined and delicate ladies. The value of the finishing school is to teach to the young girls good manners, how to behave, how to do things that they've never done before, like how to sew. It's loads of bollocks, can't be bothered, I don't think I'm just making but I don't. How to cook from scratch, which is very important. I'm not going to touch it, that'll be disgusting. <laughs> right, The value of flower arranging actually is remarkable. It makes a very dull dining table look wonderful. Also, of course, they can make it a career. The thing is, there's no middle ground in this show, is there? It's all these sort of pissed up young girls kind of behaving quite sordidly and grotesquely and then there's some sort of out of touch battle acts. <laughs> we're kind of yeah. laughing at them, we're laughing at the old biddies. It's just a kind of freak show. I mean flower arranging, she talks, I mean I thought when she said the value of flower arranging is remarkable. 
I was expecting some kind of zen-like wisdom and insight, and she said, well, it brightens up a dinner table, and, you know, it's a career. Well, how, how bad can you be at flower arranging? Surely well, you just go... Hm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could get a job in a funeral parlour spelling out the word mum or whoever. Yeah. Flowers. I've always... You know when they see that, those, those funeral things where they say mum? I've always wanted to see one that just says twat. <laughs> and his mates have all clubbed together because they hated you, him you so are, much. You, and just paid for that. You're not going to see it, Sean, because you won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, one of my favourite bits in that clip is, is the bit where the other teacher with the cooking is, you know, saying about the girl's scrambled egg, I'm not going to touch that, it looks disgusting. She said that before on her wedding night, I mm. know she has. <laughs> it's just so obvious. I think he said it as well. <laughs> OK, well, let's leave the final word to one of the Ledettes. He's got mixed What's mixed It's his eyes, his eyes. Well, he's blind. It's not Stevie Wonder, but a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, if you look up myxomatosis in the Oxford English Dictionary, it says, like Stevie Wonder, but a rabbit. <laughs> that is so brilliant, yeah. isn't it? I think she should be, she should she's get her fantastic. own show, that girl. She's, she's brilliant, brilliant, that girl. She, she's a gas fitter. All right. Yeah, for someone who hates it, yeah. I've seen an awful lot of it. Well, next up is a slice of your TV heaven. Oh, yes. It's one of the most successful sitcoms of all time. Yes! Yay! Friends. 236 episodes, all of them pretty much the same. Um, <laughs> now, what do you like about it so much? The reason I really love Friends is because it's like lifestyle porn. It's, it's how I want my life to be. It, it's how I, I mean, everything about it. Like, they, um, they, everything, they have an instant social thing going on. It's like, let's go for a picnic. And, you know, the next day there's a picnic. And in real life, everything's so different. You know, it's like, if you were doing it, we're like, oh, Monica can't make next Thursday. <laughs> Chandler can do February the 4th. Uh, and uh, Joey, well, I haven't seen him for three years. I don't have his fucking number. You know? <laughs> it's just... I mean, to be fair to them, it is a sitcom, so you can't let those sort of things go a little bit, don't you? you go. No, because they a good should have had like their porridge. deposit withhold for painting their flat purple. No. <laughs> they should have had their leases terminated for subletting. They stole right. a sofa and put it on a communal lawn. I mean, even it's TV land, though. But I mean, even someone like Phoebe, who well, I'm I probably, you oh, sorry. I do love it, but You've I just do been love it. it off. No, I haven't been slagging it off. I love what it. Do I like it. What do you like about it? I love all. I love everything that I've said about right. the fact that. You know, you know, you watch it, and it's like fantasy. It really is like a kind of fantasy. Yeah. Well, we've got a classic clip from Friends here, where the yes. dark-haired friend yes. is trying to get the blonde friend to allow the mousy Greek You're friend... You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dark-haired friend is trying to get the blonde friend to move in with the mousy Greek friend, because the dark-haired friend is going to move in with one of the bloke friends. I think that's what's going on. 